Hello and welcome to the 10th annual Violet Ripley Virtual 5K. I said it, virtual. It's not what we wanted, it's not what we expected, but it's where we're at today. I'm Brian Schmidt, one of your hosts today, and today's theme is going to be past, present, and future as we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the, of the Violet Ripley 5K. And to talk about the past, you know, someone dear, near and dear to us, and we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for her 10 years ago, Tammy Ripley. Thank you, Brian, and thank you all for joining us today. Being virtual is not what I expected for or how I thought we would celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Violet Ripley 5K pulmonary fibrosis, but here we are, and once again, we cannot do this event without all of you and without your support. It has been amazing watching this event grow into something so powerful, so thank you again. And how did it all begin? It began with my mom, Violet. She was such a strong woman with a heart of gold and put others before herself. When she passed in 2009, I knew I had to carry on her kind spirit and beauty. I created this event to help me get through my grief and to help others with this disease in her name. She is and always will be my inspiration. I also would like to thank two people who had important roles in helping me create this event in my mom's memory and her honor. Hi, greetings from sunny California. My name is Sue. My family and I are participating in the Violet Rippy 5K along the beautiful shores of Los Angeles. We will certainly be sad that we won't be joining you in person, but just wanted to thank you and all the families from the bottom of our hearts for taking this most difficult time in your lives and creating hope for others. As a staff member that was here for the first Violet Rippy 5K, I'm proud to have worked side by side with Tammy, her family and friends to bring much needed PF awareness and raise funds for patient and family support and of course PF research. I also wanted to thank all the families that have hosted in the years past their own walks, runs, golf tournaments, garden parties, galas, casino nights, and also those that have attended and made fundraising pages and invited their friends and family to join in this fight. We could not have made it this far without you. Thank you. Have a great walk. Hello, walkers. Greetings from West Hampton Beach, New York. I'm Terrence Hales board member of the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation and founder of the PFF Walk New York City. A group of us will be walking here today in honor of the Violet Rippey Virtual 5K. We wish we could be there in person, but we will be there 100% in spirit. Congratulations, Tammy, on the 10th anniversary of this wonderful event started in your mom's honor. I know she's proud of all the work you've done. We all are and we are thankful to your entire team and all the supporters of this walk in Pittsburgh for 10 years and counting. Tammy and I were connected through pulmonary fibrosis and originally met in Washington, D.C. as we were visiting Capitol Hill, meeting members of Congress, and advocating for increased support and funding for PF research. Pulmonary fibrosis is a devastating disease that takes the lives of 40,000 people each year, the same number as breast cancer. But thanks to the efforts of people like all of you, we are making a difference in this battle. You are all incredible supporters. Over the past 10 years, we have made significant strides together and our accomplishments include FDA approval of two drugs to treat the progression of pulmonary fibrosis and several others in the pipeline, establishment of a national patient registry and care center network to study how to better diagnose and treat PF, increased research and interest by major pharmaceutical companies like never before, and continued and more formal legislative advocacy in Washington, D.C. for PF patients and families. We are all dedicated to finding a cure and look forward to a world without pulmonary fibrosis. Tammy, thank you and your team for all your hard work. Congratulations again on your 10th anniversary and keep up the great work. I will be looking for a red cardinal out there on my walk today, and I hope you see one too. Stay safe, thank you all, and have a great walk. That was a great background in history of where we've come in these 10 years. And obviously, as we all know, you played a huge integral part in that. 
Now back to the present. And you all know them, and you all love them. And finally, in 10 years, for the first time ever, they're on time. Your co-hosts, Stan, Guy, and Paul. Oh. Yeah, we arrive on time. We often leave at different times, however. <laughs> good to see you guys. Well, it's virtually good to see you. Absolutely. I didn't recognize you without a mask. <laughs> Guy, you look much better with it on. But, I know. Uh, I think we can all deal with that. Uh, we're thrilled to be back for, what is this, the 23rd annual? I'm a little bit ahead of my, uh, a, little, a little too much. But we're all glad to be here for, obviously, uh, a very good cause, guy. Well, two good things about being virtual. We all look better that way, and <laughs> we don't have to be in the same space as Big Schmidt, so, nah. <laughs> Let, let's talk about pulmonary fibrosis a little bit right off the bat, what it is. It's a lung disease that scars your lungs, and it makes it impossible then for oxygen to get into your lungs and be processed. 200,000 Americans are affected by this, 52,000 cases diagnosed every year. And we've been doing this now, as Stan said, for a decade, thanks to Tammy Rippey and her tremendous work, uh, trying to find a cure. Most importantly, right now we're raising awareness. We wanna raise some funds to help out the people whose families have been affected by this terrible disease. And thanks to all of you, because of participating in your donations, we're making progress. We're making a dead long way to go, but we're a lot further along than we were 10 years ago. Uh, and one of the big portions of our program is our family recognition, where we invite families to come up when we're all together and say why and who they are there for, who they're supporting. We get a testimonial, we receive this testimonial from Patty Friedrich of Team Charlie's Angels. Patty walks in honor of her husband, Charlie, who lost his fight against this horrible disease in 2014. She says, I know that everyone who has walked and will be walking in this 5K event has experienced this disease firsthand and would like nothing more than someday to be able to say, we did it, we found a cure, but we need everyone's support in order to make that dream a reality. Well, thank you, Patty. Thanks to all the family who have sent us their statement as to why they're walking and for whom they're walking. Hi everybody, the big day is here, the 10th annual Violet Rippey Walk for Pulmonary Fibrosis. This is Anne, I'm walking in my neighborhood. I wanna thank everybody for participating today. All the money that you've collected will support the research and patient programs at the Simmons Center. So we are, thank you so much for everything that you've done. And also, you're also helping to raise awareness for IPF, which is so important. A huge thank you to our dear friend, Tammy Rippey. Tammy, we, we love you to pieces. Uh, thanks for all you've done for the Simmons Center over the years. You're just a great person and just a, a great friend. And finally, I just wanna let everybody know that we'll be accepting gifts for the Rippey Walk through the Run Sign Up website until July 31st. So if you know anybody who hasn't made a gift and would like to, please direct them to the website. Okay, take care and enjoy your day. Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Julie. And we're walking for Julie's mom, Rebecca. Bye-bye. Mama. In the spring of 2015, Judy Tappy was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. This was a scary time for Judy and our family as none of us knew what PF was. But Judy is strong and determined to fight this ugly disease. She takes advantage of support groups and is dedicated to pulmonary rehab. She has a great team of doctors that encourage her. But the one thing that motivates her the most to keep fighting is her 10 grandchildren who affectionately call her Grammy. Led by those 10 grandkids, Team Grammy's Warriors is proud to participate in the Violet Rippey 5K for the fourth year in a row to raise awareness and support. And most importantly, to let Grammy know that all of her friends and family are surrounding her with love and support in our fight against PF. Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Bowen and I'm representing Team Bob Bowen along with my family members. Uh, we're here to talk about my husband who passed away uh, from idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in, on February 7th of 2014. And we've been participating in the Violet Rippey Walk since then. And I would like to uh, thank you all for allowing us to come into your life and talk about what a great man my husband was and how devastating this disease could be.
Hi, my name's Ryan Bowen, uh, Bob Bowen's son, and this is my wife, Jules Bowen. As a senior in college, I lost my father to idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, something that you don't expect to go through at such a young age. He was diagnosed and it moved through his body pretty rapidly. Um, with the Violet Rippy organization, it allows our family to come together every year, our family, friends, it's grown year after year. Uh, and we get to honor him as the patriarch that he was and the patriarch that he still is today. As Bob Owen's wife, I'd like to just tell you a little bit about this wonderful guy. He was a perfect son. He was a fabulous father. He was a doting brother. And above all, he was my best friend and the love of my life. He encapsulated everything there can be to be said about a good man. And his passing has brought grief, but it's also brought us together as a family. And we want to move forward and help an organization that can do something for this terrible disease. Violet Ripley Organization is somebody that we have been participating with since that summer of 2014. And we continue and will continue to do as much as we possibly can to support them so that we can find therapeutics and a cure for this horrific disease. Hi, my name is Stephanie Curran and I'm the middle child of Bob and Kathy Bowen. This year would have been Team Bob Bowen's seventh year walking and running and donating in support of the Violet Rippey 5K for pulmonary fibrosis. Although we all cannot get together in July, my husband James and our four children will be walking together in solidarity and support for our pack up, my dad, and for everyone else who's still fighting this disease. Violet and her team have done a wonderful job creating awareness, providing the funding through donations for research, and also providing the support for caretakers and this family. We are appreciative of everything that she has done. And every time we think of our pap our dad on a daily basis, we think of all those that are watching this video that are fighting the good fight right now. And we have hope and encouragement for you that you'll get through it. Hi, my name's Lisa. I'm Bob's oldest daughter. Um, I lost my dad when he was 58 years old. Um, family was the most important thing to him, and I know he really cherished the, the time he had with his grandkids. Um, for me personally, that's one of the hardest parts um, of him not being around is that he can't watch them grow because I know how much joy he took out of being around them. Um, so the one thing that Ripley does for me is, um, you know, it, it gives me hope that with this money that we're raising, other families won't have to go through this and they won't miss out on those moments that he cherished so much because I know how much he truly loved this crazy bike. Hello, my name is Tanya Johnson. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. And me and my family have walked the Violet Rippey 5K for several years out of the 10 that they've had. We've walked probably six or seven of them. The reason why we walked is for my dad. His name is Aubrey T. Johnson Sr. And he died from pulmonary fibrosis in 2006. Uh, we found a walk on a pulmonary fibrosis newsletter. I was looking for something nearby, nothing in Cincinnati, so we thought we'd make the trip up to Pittsburgh every year and kind of, you know, hope to raise some money for pulmonary fibrosis and get to see Tammy in all her glory. Hi, Tammy. And uh, obviously nobody's walking this year, but hopefully next year we'll be able to make that trip again. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Greetings from hot, humid, and beautiful Hong Kong. I'm running in honor of my mother, Kathy Paul, and all the other friends and family we've all lost to pulmonary fibrosis. 
I hope the virtual run is a great success this year and hope to see you all next year in person. Good luck. Hi, my name is Jennifer Mills and I'm part of Team Kathy. We're walking in memory of my mom, Kathy Paul, who passed away from pulmonary fibrosis on May 22nd, 2018. My mom never let her diagnosis stop her from doing anything she loved or slow down. Three weeks before she passed away, she was able to go to the beach and spend time with her grandchildren. My mom was never on oxygen and had one flare up that put her in the hospital and she was never able to recover. Team Kathy is walking in memory of my mom to help create awareness for the disease and hopefully one day have a cure. This is our third year participating and we look forward to seeing you guys live next year. Thanks. Everybody, it's John reporting in from COVID infested Los Angeles. I just wanted to tell you that uh, things have been tough out here. I have been locked up in my house for practically four months now. And um, the invitation for the uh, Rippy Walk, I, uh, I decided that I'm going to do the walk inside of my RV. So I calculated the distance and determined it was going to take about 3,492 trips around my kitchen island to complete the walk. So that's what I'll be doing uh, for the Tammy, uh, for the Violet Rippy walk. And uh, along those lines, on a serious note, I just want to uh, thank everybody that uh, has been involved. I want to thank everybody that has contributed. Uh, and uh, because this is a, uh, a dreaded disease. And um, I'm here to tell you that every penny that you folks contribute uh, will go to uh, UPMC uh, for the support group and the research that's all so much needed. And someday uh, they will discover a cure for this illness. And, um, and we'll be... Uh, much better off for it. Uh, and I want to also thank Tammy uh, for doing this loving thing uh, in honor of her mother uh, and the team that she has to pull off this walk every year. Under these circumstances, uh, this year is uh, the best you can hope for. All the IPFers have uh, got to stay um, <clears throat> away from any uh, COVID and so um, I just want to say the best to all you back in Pittsburgh uh, and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you as soon as we get the green light to get out of here. So have a good walk everybody and I appreciate all the hard work that you do for us IP, uh, IPF patients. We will be walking for our patch I will be walking with my mom in Chicago. And the rest of Joe's Warriors will be walking at Round Hill Park in Pittsburgh. We love you. Kelly. I've been asked to share how the Stan Guy Love the Walk team began. Years ago, my friend Jack began making predictions about Monday Night Football games for amusement only on Stan's show. In appreciation for giving Jack something to look forward to in his otherwise dull drab life, we invited Stan to Dukes here in Homestead. Soon, Guy Junker began to join us. Over the years, my friends and my family become friends with Stan and Guy. We still get together occasionally at Duke's and now at Honest John's, also on 8th Avenue in Homestead. Great food, great fun. As some of you may know, Stan has a radio show on 970 AM, 106.3 FM, Monday through Friday, noon to two. On Thursdays from 1 to 2, you can hear Stan and Guy together. 
Well, one day I was listening to Stan's show as millions of people do, and I heard Stan ask for support for the Viler Rippy 5K. Well, I know that I, I can't get Jack to walk three blocks from a parking garage to PNC Park for a free pirate game, let alone walk three miles. But I knew I had better quality friends and better family members that would be glad to join Stan Guy Love the Walk team. So we've been walking year after year. Uh, along the way, uh, Guy Junker became uh, chairman for the Homestead District Lions Celebrity Golf Outing. Guy stepped in to fill the shoes of a great man and a great lion, Daryl Hess. Guy's worked hard, continues to work hard to make our Homestead District Lions Celebrity Golf Outing one of the best outings around. And again this year, in appreciation, the Homestead Lions are donating $500 to the Violet Rupee 5K in Guy's honor. What a blessing it is to have good friends. Friends that work together to help each other. Tammy stepped up to help people suffering from a terrible disease. Stan, Guy, and Paul stepped up to help their friend Tammy. Guy stepped up to help the Lions. The Lions stepped up to help Guy. This is what friendship and community are all about. Stan, Guy, Paul, Tammy, love the walk. Thanks for all you do. And by the way, Jack wants to know if there's a water break during the virtual walk this year. He is really out of shape. Thank you. Ashburn, Virginia, and we are here representing Graham and Great Graham Violet Rippy, and we want to wish everyone a great virtual walk and great summer. Have a great summer. Have a great walk. We are Team Rippy. We are walking for Violet Rippy. My wife. Our, our mom, mom. Our Graham. My mother-in-law. Thank you all for your support. Hi everyone. We are the Townsend family. My name is Amanda. This is Connor, and this is Walt. And we are doing the walk for my grandmother, Graham, and his great-grandmother, and she would have loved him very much. Thank you everyone for all the support. Yeah, and you wonder why we do this every year, and well, because Tammy asks us to first and foremost, but <laughs> the Violet Ripley 5K has raised almost $330,000 over these last nine years. We certainly you know, hope that today's effort you know, raises that total even more significantly. And once again this year, all the proceeds will go to the Dorothy P. and Richard P. Simmons Center of Interstitial Lung Disease. This program is basically a result of this amazing event. The fact that this even exists is because of this event. It's so important that you're with us here virtually to support this disease each and every year. And here to talk about our support programs and the importance of palliative care is Dr. Kathleen Lindell, Associate Professor of Medicine and Nursing Simmons Center for Interstitial Lung Disease. Good morning. Welcome to the 10th annual Violet Rippy 5K for Pulmonary Fibrosis. We're so excited that you're going to join us this year, and we want to give special thanks to Tammy Rippy and her mother, who this race is named after. With the proceeds from the funds, what happens is it 
helps to support our patient support group, our patient education efforts, and our research that's done at the Simmons Center. This year was the fourth annual Violet Rippey Memorial Lecture, and we had Dr. Lisa Lancaster from Vanderbilt come and speak to our patients. In the past, we had Dr. Dinesh Ragu, Dr. David Letterer, and Dr. Greg Cosgrove, the medical director of the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. In the next few months, we'll be deciding who will be our speaker for the fifth annual lecture, and this occurs in February of 2021. So thank you so much to Tammy and everyone for your efforts. And we hope that you get out to do your virtual walking. I've started mine, I'm at the beach and I'm doing my walk for the race and I'm on Team Simmons. Thank you, Dr. Lindell. And now let's talk about fundraising, which we know is a critical part in this mission to help end pulmonary fibrosis. You guys, every year, blow fundraising out of the water and this year is no different. And joining us to announce the top three fundraising teams is Ann Imicus, Director of Development for Division of Pulmonary and Critical Care at the University of Pittsburgh. Hi, it's Ann Imicus. I hope everybody's enjoying today's virtual event. Um, I have the great pleasure of announcing the top three fundraisers for this year's Violet Rippy Walk. And I want to mention that I'm recording this on Wednesday so that the video can be uh, ready for you to view on Saturday. So we're pretty sure this is how the numbers are going to finish. Uh, but if there's any change at all, Tammy Rippey will be in touch. So without further ado, the top three fundraisers for the 10th annual Violet Rippey 5K walk, virtual walk are in third place, the Simmons Center. Congratulations to Team Simmons Center. In second place, up from third place last year, are Grammys Warriors. Awesome job to, and congratulations to Grammys Warriors. Um, congratulations, Grammy, and your Warriors, little and big. You're a, you're a great team, very inspiring to all of us. And in first place, Again, for this, at least the second year in a row, and possibly longer than that, we weren't able to verify, um, it is Team Kathy Paul. Team Kathy Paul, you guys did an amazing, an amazing job this year. So thank you so much. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to everybody who signed up to walk virtually, to everyone who organized the team, to everybody who contributed, who's supporting um, a, a team member. We are so appreciative for all that you've done uh, everybody we're all winners and the biggest winners of course are our patients the patients of the Dorothy and Richard Simmons Center who benefit from all the love and support that you're showing them through this event so we are so grateful from the bottom of our hearts we say thank you to all of you out there doctor thank you very much I want to make one correction to what Paul said a little bit earlier he said we come because Tammy asks us to Tammy tells us. <laughs> she makes us. She makes us. It's not, it's not like we resist, but it's uh, when Tammy asks you something, she's uh, actually telling you what what she wants you to do. It's her mandate comes to mind. Absolutely. She does entice with adult beverages. Though, which Always. Is okay. Walk short. <laughs> walk shortly, but carry a big stick uh, when it comes to, uh, to Tammy. Uh, we want to thank our presenting sponsors. First of all, our amazing presenting sponsor, UPMC. And a heartfelt thank to all of our sponsors who have been with us for all 10 years. Veterans of Foreign War, Branch 4809 from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Fleet Reserve Branch, Branch number 293 from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Honka Zolliger Foundation and Valbridge Properties. We also want to thank, it takes so much to put this thing on. Thank the, the teams, the vendors, the sponsors, especially the stand guy, love the walk team. They live under the Homestead Bridge. <laughs> they, they come out at least once a year. And knowing those guys is the only time they walk all year long. But we need help from so many people to put this thing on. Uh, special thanks go to the City of Pittsburgh Special Events Office, North Shore Sports and Exhibition Authority, Pittsburgh EMS, and anyone and everyone who's been a part of this over the last decade. I guess we have to go sports now. We have to make references. The quarterback of all this is the Simmons Center. They're the ones that make it happen. They have the passion. They have the uh, intelligence. They have the ability to hopefully find a cure for this horrible, horrible disease. 
And with more on that, the special place that the Simmons Center is, is Dr. Daniel Cassidy, director of the Simmons Center for Interstitial Lung Disease. Hi, everybody. I'm Danny Cass, the director of the Simmons Center. I wish I could be with all of you today on the north side with the runners, the walkers, the well-wishers, the parrot, the butterflies, with Tammy to celebrate with our heroes who suffer from pulmonary fibrosis and their caregivers. The 10th annual Violet Rippy 5K. When I started at the Simmons Center here 10 years ago to the day, we had great doctors and great nurses. We had oxygen, we had exercise, and we had transplant. 10 years later, we have more great doctors, a pipeline of new pulmonologists who have chosen to study and care for patients who suffer from this disease. We have more great nurses and researchers. We now have two FDA approved medications and so many more drugs on the way. We now have hope for the dreaded acute exacerbation of IPF, which is based on work that began and continues here at UPMC. We have new approaches to lung transplant, which is the only cure for this disease that promise to increase the numbers of eligible patients and to ensure that our lung transplant recipients live longer and better. And we continue to have patients and caregivers who are committed to and volunteer for our research studies to make a cure a reality. To you and to those who came before you and to all those who will come after you, we have your back. We will work tirelessly to ensure that no one suffers from this disease. We thank Tammy Rippey, an angel who walks among us, who has committed so much time and energy to turn her mother's illness and her family's tragedy into a beacon of light for the patients and families who suffer from this disease. We love you and we thank you. We thank all of you who have joined us and donated today Today and every day, your support is the jolt of energy that we will all take back with us to the clinic and to the laboratory to realize our mission, to care for the patients, to support the caregivers, and to find the cure. Now, 10 years later, we are pleased and honored to welcome the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation our leading advocacy organization to administer the Violet Rippey 5K. The Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation is a driving force for better care, support, and research to improve the lives of people with pulmonary fibrosis. Dr. Gregory Cosgrove is Chief Medical Officer for the Foundation. The PFF is a terrific partner and we highly value our collaboration. Let's turn it over to my good friend and colleague, Dr. Cosgrove. Thanks, Dr. Cass. We appreciate this tremendous partnership. It's a pleasure to join you today from Denver, Colorado. Congratulations to all on the 10th anniversary of the Violet Rippy 5K. Going virtual gives us a picture of the impact of this walk. This is no longer just a Pittsburgh event. Today, we're joining you from all parts of the country. Because of your support, the PF community in Pittsburgh can attend the support group at the Simmons Center. And through the Violet Rippey Memorial Lecture, I've had the opportunity to speak about PF to patients, caregivers, faculty, and students at the Simmons Center. Thanks to the Violet Rippey 5K and Memorial Lecture, we continue supporting the PF community, raising awareness, and fighting PF every step of the way. I want you to feel empowered by your generous actions and the strength of the community you've created. With your help, we are pushing ahead with research and better treatments for PF. More clinical trials are underway in this disease than ever before. We are preparing to launch the next phase of the PFF patient registry so that patients, caregivers, and family members will be able to participate virtually from anywhere in the country. I truly believe that additional therapies are coming to patients living with PF, and we are going to get there faster with your donations and support. 
thank you for your participation in the Violet Rippy 5K. And now, let's get back to Tammy and the company in Pittsburgh. Thanks. Well, in case there's any debate, Tammy's the one in the purple shirt. Uh, just in case you couldn't figure out who was who, she joins us now without here and none of this happens. Of course, without you, none of this happens. It's unfortunate that we are doing it this way, but we've all become accustomed to working virtually. Um, hopefully, a year from now, we'll be back together again in purpose, uh, in person, and in conducting the walk as normal. Well. We're thrilled to be able to keep us today. And the date for next year, mark your calendars now, July 17th. Hopefully the world will be back to a much more normal uh, place at that time. The one thing I, I don't miss though about us working together is reading the raffle tickets. Yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> I am colorblind and every year I'm like, know, is this blue? Ticket, is this, what ticket. color is this ticket? I don't have yeah. to do that this year. We got to get bigger tickets with bigger numbers. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the issue here. Yeah, I'm both colorblind and blind. So yeah, that's very, very difficult indeed. But the thing I'm very excited about is next year, it's just gonna be a little bit bigger. It's gonna be a little bit better. And actually, Tammy's gonna tell you about that from an undisclosed location. But first, I want to thank my co-host, Stan, Guy, Paul. I love them to death. Can't thank them enough. So thank you. You're very welcome. God bless you. There we go. All right, don't touch All right. Get those masks on. And now for that announcement that Paul was talking about. Throughout these 10 years, we have grieved together and we have celebrated together. We have raised funds and awareness to conquer pulmonary fibrosis. My wish was to grow this event and reach as many people as possible throughout the country and throughout the world. We will continue to do that. I thank the Coalition for Pulmonary Fibrosis from the very beginning. I thank my dear special friends at the Simmons Center for all that they do and will continue to do. It has truly been a remarkable journey. And now it's time to connect the Violet Rupee 5K to the nation's leading pulmonary fibrosis research and patient advocacy organization. Today, I am happy to announce that I am transitioning this event to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation so I can grow it even more. It is my pleasure to introduce Bill Schmidt, President and CEO of the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. Bill, I want to thank you and your team for embracing the Violet Rupi 5K and adding it to the official PFF lineup. Hello everyone and thank you, Tammy. What an incredible event you've built. We know what it takes to start an event like this, much less sustain it for 10 years. Congratulations to you and everybody who's been involved. You've performed a wonderful service for the pulmonary fibrosis community over all these years. So we, we are just honored and, and thrilled to be associated with this special walk that celebrates the life of your mother, Violet Rippey. We're looking forward to expanding our partnership going forward and enhancing our ability to serve this community. Being a part of this event is really gonna enable us to do that. What a great day. Thank you all so much. My favorite part of this event was always seeing all of you and listening to your stories. We all share a common bond and will always be linked together. Next year, I will be actually walking with all of you and I can't wait. What we have done together throughout these 10 years will forever stay in my heart. I am blessed to have gotten to know all of you. Thank you for your support and a special thanks to Brian, to Stan, Guy, Paul, to all of my friends who have helped me throughout all of these years, and to my family. All of us together truly can make a difference.